Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. We made it another year. I, I am notoriously bad at keeping promises on this channel of finishing series, and I appreciate all of you who, who stuck by me when you know, there was like four, five, six months with absolutely no content on the channel before I started my live streaming, but I knew I couldn't miss 31 Days of Halloween, and I finally made it. Um, super proud of myself. Uh, so give me some love down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, I'm, I'm just as surprised as everyone else that I made it two years in a row. But happy Halloween! Today I struggled with what to post today because I was reading a book that I was looking forward to even though I only gave the first book three stars. I'm not going to name it here. If you've been on my live streams, you've heard me talk about it. But I pretty much hated it and I didn't want to go out on the final day of the of the month on Halloween with a negative review so if you heard me talk about what I was going to be reviewing today and this is not it I apologize but today we're talking about Hocus Pocus 2 and how happy I am that this exists uh, I'm a huge massive mega fan of the original one um, I, I love the witches I loved uh, Binks, Jinx, I can't remember the cat's name, but I love the cat. I love the undead dude. I, lo I love all of it. Going into this one, I was worried um, about uh, maybe just cash grab like most people. Um, and I was like, I don't think that uh, Bette Midler, Kathy Jimmy, and Sarah Jessica Parker would come back just for the money. Um, I think they're, I, I, I had faith that they would come back for something if they believed that it, it was worth the, the time and effort to do so. And thank fuck, I was correct. Sorry for the language. But anyways, um, this is this is an amazing movie. It's just as good as the first one. I took a long time. I watched this at the beginning of October, and I've been thinking about it nearly daily on how much I love this movie. It is a perfect sequel. If you love the original, more than likely you are going to absolutely love this one. And one of the main reasons for that, I feel, is because of the ending. My big teddy bear ass was bawling. Um, I, I don't know about you, I don't care what you think about me, I was crying my eyes out as was my oldest. Um, Shell is not a movie crier, but she she was touched also. This is the perfect ending, and we don't need any more Hocus Pocus movies. We didn't need this one, really. We wanted it, but we didn't need it. It's kind of like The Nightmare Before Christmas. As you can see, I'm a bit of a, a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, we don't need a sequel to that. It would be nice to see one if they did it right and they put the same passion and effort into it as they did back then, and I believe that's what they did this time. So a little bit about the story. The witch is back! Which is multiple. <laughs> the witches are back. Um, it The movie opens up with going back in the day to when they were little girls and how they got their power, well, how they became witches, that, that kind of thing. I like seeing that. The movie's hilarious. I thought it was. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was funny throughout the whole thing until the end, and then it got really sad. Um, but I, I don't think it could have ended any other way, and it really hit hard. Um, another thing that I will say is that the witches, the, you know, Bette Midler, Kathy and Jimmy, and uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, they absolutely killed it again. My one, but one of my favorite parts is the musical scene in this one. You know, remember I put a spell on you from the first one. Well, there's a new one in this one. Not going to spoil it for you, but I, if you watch it. If you don't want to pay attention the first time, I suggest watching it all the way through and then go back and watching it again. There is a bunch of Easter eggs that my oldest caught in the actual dancing party that happens because once again they get everybody dancing. Um, I'm going to talk about rehashed material here in a second, so bear with me. Um, and if I don't, remind me. <laughs> like you can down through. Anyways, but <laughs> um, so the. There's a lot of Easter eggs in there for other Disney, just some some aren't Disney. There's a lot of cool things to point out with all the people who are dressed up. Is like you know, it, I, I like that kind of nostalgia porn, where it's it doesn't feel like something like Ernest Klein, where the entire story, you know, needs to have pop culture references for you to get it. That kind of thing, um, and that's all that it has. In this one, it's not like that. Now let's talk about some rehash scenes, like the dance party. Certain other scenes are kind of rehashed, but they put a new spin on it. Um, I, you can tell I'm excited. 
I loved every single bit of it, even the stuff that they did that was fan service. I thought the fan service was done respectfully. Uh, it was a perfect tribute to the original movie while extending the story at the same time. The acting's fantastic, the new kids, the trio of, uh, of girls, teenage girls. I loved everybody in this, although Kelly, I believe is her name, the one that's not there through like most of it, there's the one that looks like, uh, what, America Ferreira, and I should have looked up their names, and then the main girl, um, they were more the central cast, and then they had a friend off to the side, um, which I, I was wondering about that, because they were trying, I think they were trying to mirror the witches being three the sisters and then these three friends so it need to be three more witches um I, I i'm not sure but anyways uh i i didn't mind that the other one was off camera for almost the entirety of the movie she was maybe in it for maybe five fifteen minutes at at most because she's in quite a bit of the ending but i don't have any complaints like as as a huge fan of the original one this one hit all the same notes but it also did something new and fun i love the guy who works at the shop the the witch shop in salem F fantastic fantastic cast fantastic acting fantastic story i'm a huge fan of this movie and from now on we will be watching every every single spooky season we'll be watching one and two back to back um but that's enough from this fanboy if you have seen hocus pocus 2 i would love to hear from you down there in the doobly-doo but until next time i have been e you have been you this has been the last episode of 31 days of halloween 2022 i'll talk to you guys later bye bye I made it! <laughs> I did! <laughs> Anyways, bye.